can help give the gift of warmth for dogs in need this winter at Kane's Crusades Dog House Build. It's this weekend, and here to share more is Kim George, Jim Pagano, and Jim Helms, and also Winter. Now, first, let's talk Kane's Crusade because it's a tremendous organization. It's growing by leaps and bounds. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about Kane's Crusade. Yeah, Kane's Crusade is a safety net for families in need, and we help people that are struggling in difficult times so that they don't have to give up their pets. As wonderful as Dakin and Thomas J. O'Connor are, we want to keep love dogs in their homes, and so we provide food, we provide insulated dog houses. We're going to talk about that today. Spay neuter, vaccinations, microchips, and all kinds of good stuff. And now, who have you brought today? You brought some helpers, but you've also brought two yes. adorable pit bulls. Yes. Tell us about them. So, Kane is our chief ambassador. <laughs> He's laying on, down on the job again. And this is Tess, who is another one of our ambassadors. And we call them ambassadors because they're great pit bull ambassadors, and they help people to see how great these dogs are. Because they can make great pets. Abs they're just dogs. Yeah, just They're dogs just like dogs. any other dog yeah. that you'll see. Now, this weekend, tomorrow, you have a, a great event where you're going to help build warmth for a lot of pets. Tell We're us about that. We're super excited. We have eight teams that have come together, all the, uh, from UMass to different businesses. <laughs> Uh, and they have raised the money to purchase the materials and we're going to build eight condos. That's what we call our specially customized uh, dog houses, condos with a K. Tess is standing on that right now. And uh, we will place those with uh, families such as people who are disabled, veterans, the elderly living on a fixed income who have to have their dogs live outside. Uh, and we want them to be safe and warm. I was going to say, the gyms, you guys, the, the two of you took this into our studio today. These things aren't light. These are some heavy-duty dog houses. Yeah, no, they're really good. I mean, they're heavy, um, like an inch and a quarter plywood on the bottom and pressure treated so it's not going to rot when it's laying on the ground. And you can see here that we actually, it's insulated on the inside for the floor. So it's keeping that cold off of the dogs. <laughs> and they're fun <laughs> for relaxing, too. Yeah, they right. love to lay on it. Now, we have a bunch of pictures of some completed dog houses. Now, in the meantime, I'm going to let you uh, three get to work if you'd like uh, okay. doing this one. And they're just, they're amazing. And what are some tips that you have, Kim, for mm -hmm. people if they want to build their own dog houses? Him. I mean, they up. might not get them as incredible as these, but what are some tips for you if people are considering building a dog house this winter? Right. Well, the first thing is you always want to insulate the dog house. Winters in New England are too cold. Um, so, you can do that the way we do it, or you can purchase uh, a dog glue, which is an insulated dog house. It's not quite as good as these, but it's better than just sheets of plywood. The other thing people often think is, oh, I'll put uh, towels and I'll put um, blankets in there and it'll be nice and warm. Actually, when they get wet, they freeze. And then it's like a block of ice. So that, that you, hay is the way to go. Well, actually, straw is the way to straw go. Straw more than and hay. That was going to be my next point. Straw is a natural insulator, whereas hay will actually uh, take in moisture, and that's not good. So you want to use straw, and you want to replace it frequently. This is this is just tremendous. Now, if you could give people tips, the first tip, though, obviously, you want to build great dog houses, but also you want to keep dogs indoors if at all possible. Absolutely. I mean, we always advocate for dogs to be inside. Um, a lot of times, uh, sorry about that, Jim. <laughs> Jim's getting a little more than he paid for this morning. He's, to help. He's happy that we're building this for him. A lot of times, people will keep dogs outside to be guard dogs, mm -hmm. and actually, um, dogs are best when they're inside and can be much more helpful that way because they'll bond with the family. Mm -hmm. And when you think about it, a dog that's on a chain or in a yard can't protect like a dog that lives in a house. Absolutely. And, so. and so we recommend crate training and we recommend behavioral training. So if there are issues that keep people keeping their dogs outside. Well, Kim, unfortunately we're out of time, but we are going to keep building. We'll check in okay. with you a little bit later in the show. By the way,